It's week 10 of the 2022 season, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Bears and the reigning Super Bowl champs, next on Madden NFL 22. Smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Chicago Bears. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. They come in off another victory a weekend ago. That ran their win streak up to seven now. And I think that win last week established them as Super Bowl frontrunners. They're playing with confidence and swagger, and you need that to go a long way. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. First and ten, here's Brady. He'll find his man, LaVisca Chanel. Touchdown, Jaguars! LaVisca Chanel, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Jags have taken the early lead. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was in. Fake the handoff. Now Brady. And Shark calls it in. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson, just downright unbelievable. I mean, when you amass that many yards, I don't know what else to say. Personally, I thought it was a game for the ages for him. Ripped off some long runs in that contest, didn't he? He did indeed. Some very long runs in that total. Scary. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. This defense for the Bears, they played extremely well last week in that win over Green Bay. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. That's caught by Myers. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. James Robinson, his 19th touchdown now of the season. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. 
So it was the passing game that got him down here. The closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running. Play fake, Brady. He's going to look deep down the field. Right there, Schultz for the Jacksonville touchdown. And sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. And to put a ball on it next year. Start on the ground with Robinson here. Robinson, a first down and then so. And, oh, he sheds himself free. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Jaguars. James Robinson with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. The CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs. And that one certainly fell into the latter category. Now that deserves a couple exclamation points. And the thing that stood out to me was his ability to continue through the initial contact. How many times? to start it out. Robinson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. He's going to launch this thing way right downfield. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes. It's a catch. Touchdown, Jaguars! Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And from what we said, if you had told me that that ball was somehow going to get from point A to point B, I would have told you no way. I mean, that was an absolute cannon shot, and he still dropped it right on the money, too. And the final readout on next-gen stats... Throwing on first down is Brady. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Brady. Going deep here for Landry. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw let him. Now, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Come on, well, here's the call. After review the play, throwing on the field is reversed. So that challenge is successful one. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. 
And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Jacoby Myers, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jaguars are able to add on to their first half lead. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Play action. Now it's Brady. Going for the deep ball. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. LaVisca Chanel, 75 yards. And the Jags come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one that they saw? down. It's Robinson and he's going to get this inside the 30. 109 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. We should mention to go along with a great game he had last week. He was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. On third down, it's Robinson. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. James Robinson. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Jaguars have taken a six-touchdown lead. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a... Now ETN to start the drive. A first down and more, ETN. There he goes, left side. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis ETN, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He can see the play developing right in front of him, and once he's past the line of scrimmage and get him. They'll start on the ground, ETN. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Oh, some strong running. There he goes, right side. Pass the 20. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis ETN, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars appear to be headed to a 9-1 start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an ex...
They begin the drive with Robinson. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown. Carter Landry. 76 yards. And the Jaguars are closing in on a ninth victory on the year as they extend their lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college. to 10, it's ETN. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 169 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's probably run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Give him seven yards on the carry, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Now here's Robinson again on second down. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. They'll run on first down. Robinson. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Throwing his Brady on third down. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. First down, it's Robinson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. What are they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Jaguars, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 and one now. And they will hit the road next week to take on.